All right, welcome to Booze and Views. Today, I'm John Trek McPhee, the sheriff of Baghdad. Hey, I'm on the road today. Uh, all I have in my room right now is Sprite <laughs> Zero. I know, I know. Um, that's all I got, right? We're, we're getting ready to head to the pub right now. Uh, had an amazing day. Uh, we were with Reese Across America. We were in Arlington, you know, facilitating, you know, every person, you know, brother, sister, father, uh, everybody in Arlington to get a uh, wreath uh, on their headstone for Christmas. Um, and uh, so we're putting them out today, over 400,000 um, headstones. So it's no small feat. It's trucks and trucks and trucks of Rees, right? And it's really powerful. You know, uh, me and my wife come here once a year. We try to give back. Uh, whatever we're told to do, we do. We're just volunteers. Um, and, you know, it's so powerful. I wish when I was in the Army, uh, I wish that I would have had the chance to do stuff like this a little bit more, to understand and have uh, healthy respect um, for those that came before us, right? And look, you know, Arlington goes all the way back to the Civil War, you know, uh, even before the Civil War. Like, um, so it's super powerful going through the park today, you know, and then uh, one of the, you know, we're going around looking at sections where the reeds are, where, where more reeds are needed, right? And uh, there was a, a headstone and all it said on it was infant. True. Right. And uh, super powerful. Right. So I think it's healthy to have this respect and to give back. And if you guys know me and a lot of you guys know me. Right. I'm always trying to give back as much as I can. Um, and, you know, it's interesting is. People always say, if you were going to do something truly good, you know, why would you need to put it on Instagram or why would you need to post about it? Right. And the truth is, is, well, it's a great question. And it's not that I care, because I'm going to do it anyway, right? Uh, I'm going to try to do these good deeds anyway, whether they're on Instagram or not. But I hope when I put them on Instagram, my real hope is that someone will see me trying to pay it forward and maybe try to do something on their own just to be better, just to give back a little bit, just to to help someone out, right? And, they, you know, they call that the pay it forward, right? And during the Christmas season, you know, we had the 12 days of giving, um, you know, which I'm going to announce the winner in a minute. But, you know, I post it hoping to pay it forward. If you see me doing it or people see me doing it, maybe that spurs them to do something else. The problem is, is we're so used to seeing the negative, the fear based stuff where someone posts someone positive, some something positive pops up. It's virtue signaling instantly. Right. So or it's it's just boring. Right. And the truth is, is like you've been conditioned for that fear. You've been conditioned for that negativity. And the truth is you need to change that mindset. And, you know, we need to be helping someone out like the world is a fucked up place it's more fucked up today than it was yesterday and it ain't getting better anytime soon even in you know in 2016 i said like go back and listen to my podcast i said 2020 was going to be fucked up and it is it truly is right so during this christmas season try to do something positive pay it forward for someone else right you know give someone something that you may not normally give you know Pay attention to someone you wouldn't maybe normally pay attention to. Love somebody, you know. Enjoy your life, right? And if I know one thing about all my time in the Army is heroes are all dead, right? But the living is what those heroes would have wanted you to do. They would have wanted you to live the life that they didn't have. And you need to live that life, right? Let go of all the petty shit and just be cool, right? So... Um, you know, in, in working with the Rees across America and putting the Rees out today, like it's such a powerful message. It's, it's so personal to me on so many levels, especially, you know, being in the army for, for tw over 20 years. So during this Christmas season, be good to someone else. Right. And then, you know, I'm going to roll in. I didn't really look at the news cause I've been busy. And <clears throat> what I would say is the election stuff 
it's about to come to a head. I, I'm, I've been hearing shit on both sides. If you watch social media, right, Sleepy Joe's the man. You watch, you know, the news, Sleepy Joe's the man, right? Uh, you watch the alternate platforms, I'll call them, right, is... You know, there's all this evidence in Trump and and, you know, there's election fraud and like there are polar opposites. And, and you know, there's people calling for who knows what right now. Here's what I would say. And I've told you guys this, whether this is, you know, getting in um, any situation. Right. Is I would tell you this. If you can stay calm enough for long enough, you're going to end up making better decisions. Right. So all this stuff will come to the head. Right. And and just let it happen. Take a step back. Try to keep your mind clear. Right. We we easily get sucked in with fear based headlines. We easily get sucked into believing what we want to believe. Right. But the truth is there's always two sides of the story. And the part you believe may not be the whole truth. Right. So what I'm saying is. Just stay calm right now and let the pieces fall where they may, right? If I know one thing of all my time in the Army, it's the first casualty in war is the truth, right? The first report from the battlefield is always wrong, always, right? Wait for the facts to come out. And then look, you know, and every time I've reported on something, even here on Booze and Views, the, McCl the McCluskey family, right, came out, defended their house, dude with his AR, his wife with the pistol, that judge that was charging him just got fired, right? So, you know, you have to wait for the whole story to come out before you can make an informed decision, right? So, yeah, man, I would just tell you right now, just stay calm and wait for the facts to roll in. And you can make a better decision of, of what you, your family, what you're going to do from there. It's that simple. So just stay calm. And it's the Christmas. It's Christmas time, man. Like, be cool, right? Go out. Be nice to somebody. Pay it forward, right? Love somebody you wouldn't normally love, right? Be patient. Let, let the past go, right? <clears throat> and just kind of enjoy your life, right? Like, look... Every guy that is in Arlington right now, or girl, right? Every one of them, the life they didn't have is the life that you're living. Go live it. You know, you owe it to those guys. I owe it to those guys, right? And that's what I'm going to do. So uh, I had a really good day today. A lot of hard work. You know, 40 degrees, 39 degrees, driving rain. I was soaking wet, right? And I completely enjoyed my day. Right. So um, I would say this is maybe next year when COVID's over and volunteers could come back, come out and put a wreath on someone's grave. I can't tell you the power that that'll make you feel right. So over this Christmas time and Christmas is coming, we'll have some booze and views before then. But I would just say right now, be cool. Don't get sucked into the fear based media on any side whosever side it is be cool and um pay it forward enjoy someone's company love your family go have a good time enjoy your life right so um hey i'm john shrek mcphee the sheriff of baghdad remember this is always my opinion i'm probably wrong and remember this isn't the view <laughs> this isn't the view you need this is the view you deserve okay 12 days of giving um, the winner, the winner is, I completely blanked out who the winner is, a uh, guy from New Jersey, <laughs> he just completely slipped my mind, right? Uh, so a guy won the grill, it grill, grill grates. If you're just starting to grill, man, this is a great package. Uh, we will reach out to you <laughs> I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on the name. I bet I've been working too hard, and I probably need some whiskey myself. So that's why. So, all right. I'm John Shrek McPhee, the Sheriff of Baghdad. Remember, this isn't the view you need. This is the view you deserve. Hey, happy holidays. Be cool. Stay calm. It'll all pan out the way it's going to pan out. I guarantee it. I'll see you guys next time.